In this how-to video, I will walk you through making your own candy bar using a full spectrum laser. First, you'll want to engrave your design. Being that this will be a 3D object for us to mold, you'll want the engraving to be relatively deep. Think of how you want your chocolate bar to be detailed and engrave each layer accordingly. Make sure each layer is cut out completely. Next, we'll cut out the mold wall for when we pour our silicone mold. After that, using a heat source like a torch, soften the edges of your design. This will help it to come out of the mold easier and give it a softer look. Don't use too much heat or you'll warp the plastic or create bubbles. Next up, put all of your layers together with some glue. Remember, we're making a 3D representation of what the final candy bar will look like. While that's drying, assemble your mold walls. Make sure you seal all the edges with hot glue so no silicone comes out. Once your mold wall is complete, you can apply a mold release. In this case, we just used some spray paint, since we didn't have any alternatives in the office. But you can use other releases, preferably something food safe. Now onto the silicone. We're using Dragon Skin 10 by SmoothOn. It's a one-to-one -one mixture, so just make sure you use the same amount of each part. Mix together thoroughly, and be sure to scrape the edges as you do so. Once mixed, you can start pouring into your mold. Keep the stream high and thin to reduce bubbles, and always pour on the side of the object and not directly onto it. Once your silicone is cured, you can remove your object. Any cleanup of your mold can be done with an X-Acto knife or cuticle scissors. Now we can make our candy bar. Don't feed any chocolate to your dogs. You'll need two pots to melt your chocolate. Boil one pot of water and place your second, smaller pot inside the first and add your chocolate. Keep stirring until your chocolate is melted and thin enough to pour. Next, pour your chocolate into your mold as evenly as possible. Then, use a straight edge to remove any excess. Put your chocolate mold in the freezer to let the chocolate cool. Next up, demold and add a wrapper if you like. Also, you can now add any golden tickets to allow a bunch of children to take a tour of your wildly unsafe chocolate factory. We hope you enjoyed this first video in our new how-to series. Subscribe for more videos like this, and until next time, keep making.